Welcome to the Red Sea Simulator System, located in Elat, Israel. My name is Jessica Bellworthy and together with Professor Ma Ozfine, we run future ocean experiments on coral reef organisms from the Red Sea. We recently published a paper in Limnology and Oceanography Methods, describing the Red Sea Simulator. And throughout this video, we are going to take a closer look at the system. We are now in a phase of rapid climate change and it is vital that we understand how these changes will affect our valuable coral reefs. However, simulating these conditions in the field is highly complex, and therefore scientists are advocating the use of mesocosm systems to conduct experiments. The Red Sea Simulator is a large-scale flow-through system which has the ability to run long-term experiments under simulated future ocean conditions. In total, the system hosts 88 individually controlled experimental aquaria. Up to four pH treatments and six temperature treatments can be run in parallel. Water flows in directly from the adjacent Gulf of Aqaba and into one of four mixing tanks. This is where the CO2 is bubbled in to adjust the pH to a desired value. Water then flows directly into the experimental aquaria where the corals are held. Water is pumped through a titanium heat exchanger where it flows counter current to adjusted quantities of hot or cold fresh water. And in this way, the temperature is tightly manipulated. Temperature is typically set at a delta from the incoming reef sea water in order to maintain the dial variability. Light intensity, spectra, nutrients, feeding, and flow are also all easily manipulated on an individual aquaria level. Temperature, pH and dissolved oxygen are all monitored quasi-continuously by this robot. Additional probes such as a monitoring pram or an underwater camera can be added as required. The data is reported in real time to an online software through which the researcher sets the system to follow user-defined values. Additionally, multiple sensors are in place to raise an email or text message alert when there are faults or if environmental parameters breach the defined range limits. Predominantly, we work with reef building corals in this system, but we have also experimented with soft corals, sea urchins, fish, seagrasses, and for many months at a time. In addition, hard and soft corals in the system have maintained reproductive synchronicity with the field populations. Such systems greatly enhance our ability to run ecologically relevant experiments and to draw conclusions from them that fit with our changing oceans. We welcome your contact for further discussion, so please get in contact via our Twitter page, email or website. Thank you. <laughs>